Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I have a special guest today. We are going to do the annual Whip and Chat Challenge that Mrs. Coffee um, puts out to all the creators every year. And I figured I'd do something a little bit different this year. I'm going to be working on a diamond painting, but I'm going to be asking, this is my husband, Adam, by the way. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should, probably should have mentioned that before. Maybe. Mr. Adventures. Um, but I'm going to be asking Adam husband tag questions throughout the whip and chat. Now, this might ensue into disagreements between me and Adam. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> really. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do for the whip and chat challenge. I wanted to do something different than the same old just, you know, you see me diamond painting, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to ask Adam questions. So it is going to be a voiceover. So you'll hear a voiceover while I'm working on the diamond painting. So it's not going to be live or anything like that. Um, cause I'm sure we're going to have to do quite a few takes on this, <laughs> but I wanted you to meet Adam and, um, I know you all have not seen Adam before and I've been on the channel for years and years and I finally talked him into doing an appearance. I so. exist. He does exist. He is, you're not a figment <laughs> of my imagination. So anyway, um, I also want to give a huge shout out to Joy Martin, who is a new member on the channel. Uh, so thank you so much for joining. Um, I really appreciate all of your support. I know this has been a little bit um, confusing with the transfer from Patreon to YouTube membership, but I do appreciate everyone who supports the channel and um, thank you. So, all right, well, we're going to do our tag questions mm -hmm. and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope that all of the creators um, participate in this um, awesome challenge that she does every year. It's a good way for especially new creators to get their name out there and um, do something that's a little uncomfortable, which is talk for an hour, which it can, it can be a little uncomfortable and you run out of things to say, mm -hmm. but it's a great way for you to get your name out there. Mrs. Coffee has been gracious enough to go ahead and add all of our whip and chat challenges to her playlist. So all of her subscribers can see your content. So awesome challenge. So thank you to Mrs. Coffee for this. All right. We're going to go to our tag question. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully well, the cats won't, um, while we do it. They'll make noise in the background. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, just wanted to say hi and you get to meet Adam and we will uh, see you in a few minutes. Bye guys. Bye. Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are doing a whip and chat. Uh, I am going to be working on something. I haven't decided yet, but I'll be working on something while you watch this video. But today I am going to be asking my wonderful husband, Adam, Hello. Questions. They are tag questions for husbands. Now, some of these might, like I said, ensue in disagreement, but I think it'll be fun and it's something different and I haven't done it before, so we're going to do it. Okay. Adam, are you ready? I assume so. <laughs> Whether you're ready or not. Okay. I have not seen these questions in advance. No. He's trying to sneak and look at them now, but you're not going to. Okay. Who is the earliest to go to bed? Me. <laughs> what kind of a question is that? That's not true. <laughs> the earliest to go to bed? Yeah, we both usually get in bed at the same time. G okay, go, go to bed, not go bed to sleep. Or play on your iPad for two or three hours. <laughs> okay, well, we both get in bed at the same time. Yes. You fall asleep before I do. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, Oh, and I have to pay attention. Hold on. Uh, let me do this real quick. I have to make sure I'm doing an hour. So, yep. Ah. Okay. Um, okay. Who is the earliest to wake up first? That would be me. By, by how much? Depends on the day. <laughs> what time do you get up every day? <laughs> Eight o'clock. Okay. All right. And what time do I get up every day? Um, it really depends on how long I stay up on my iPad because I'll play, as y'all know, I play Candy Crush. Um, don't judge me. Um, to help me fall asleep. And recently we've actually, um, we got an Echo Dot for Christmas and we put it in the bedroom and we've been playing Ocean Waves and that really helps, I feel, with being able to fall asleep faster. For me, anyway. Good. Um, but then I usually don't get up until, I set my alarm usually for like 9.30 and then I snooze it a few times. So I usually get up around 9.45, 10 o'clock. You are a snoozer, I am not. Correct. Correct. He hates it when I snooze my alarm. He because it goes off every five minutes for the next 35 minutes. 
Do you remember that fucking alarm clock we had that rolled around on the, the clocky? You threw it away. How could you? Oh my god, I threw that thing. It, was, it made me so mad. You hated it as soon as I showed it to you. Oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass. It would literally, like... It had wheels. It had wheels, so if it was on the dresser, it would, like, buzz and, and move, and then it would roll off yeah. the dresser onto the The point floor. was you had to stand up to get it to turn the alarm off. Yeah, F that noise. <laughs> Yeah, that thing got broke and thrown away. Um, uh. <laughs> okay, how long have we been together? How long? Mm-hmm. Well, it's 20, barely 2021, so do you mean married? It just says, how long have you been together? We've been married 10 years. Mm-hmm. Together? We have not been married. It'll be 11 years in February. It isn't there yet. <laughs> together. If you're rounding up. Ah, uh, uh. Is that four years before that? Something like that? It was a lifetime ago. No, I mean, we we dated for like two years, including our engagement. Just about. Something like that. So yeah, so it was like 2008. And then, you know, bad divorce and all that shit. Um, yeah, and then we got married in 2010. Yeah. So, so I'd say 13, years. 14 years total, probably. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I can't believe that. There are days <laughs> where I don't think I'm going to make it, and you know that. And I know you have the same days. Um, if possible, what would you eat every day? Every day? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Pizza? Really? Something quick and easy. Yeah. What would be your favorite pizza? Because I'm not as young as I used to be. I can't just eat steak every day. <laughs> oh, you're so effing old. Let's not go there, Chuck. For those of you on the channel that are new and don't know, Adam is 13 years younger than I am. So, yeah, we're not going to talk about age. So. Um, okay. Pizza. Wow, I would think you would choose something a little bit more not cliche. No, simple. Okay. Um, what would I eat every day? Um, if if I had my choice and I didn't have to make it, I would probably eat. Um, I would probably eat steak every day. I, I knew that would be your answer. <laughs> I yeah, if I didn't have to make it. So yeah. Um, okay. Uh, if you could be married to a movie star, who would it be? Oh God. As we hear the cats running into the room. Um, Who do you think is like just super hot? <laughs> I just don't care. Um, <laughs> well, you gotta pick one. I haven't looked. I'll just say Jessica Beale from like 10 years ago. I haven't watched she's, a whole lot of movies hot. in a while. You, now you know who I would choose. I don't know. You've, you've been hot and cold on them recently. Adam's going to tell you who I would marry. It'd be Ryan Reynolds. It would be Ryan Reynolds. Yes. Yeah, so if he hadn't been married to that hussy the first guy around. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Uh, if your partner... Okay, if you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would that song be? Yeah, I listen to podcasts in the car. <laughs> yeah, we're going to skip that one because we don't really listen to no. that. Um, we even have speakers all over the house and we don't really listen to music. I mean, it's we like, listen to Christmas music. Oh yeah, music. let's listen to Christmas music or let's just listen to classical as some background. Like, we don't... I do listen to classical while I cook, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? To get rid of? Mm-hmm. You mean other than Careful! The, you mean other than everything in the basement? <laughs> We're not gonna go there. <laughs> Be very careful with your answer. <laughs> one thing. Just one thing. One thing. There's so many little things. You have to pick one thing that you you would want to get rid of. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there is one thing. Oh my god! Pick one thing. Pick one thing. Like the riding lawnmower. 
But that's everything in the basement. That's been it. No, it's not. That is one and thing. I don't park in the garage, so oh I could God. care less. <laughs> I could care because I have to make sure I don't. I know. That that's thing. why I would like to remove. That. Okay, seriously, one thing. What is one thing you'd want to get rid of? Why the sofa is in the basement? Yeah, I agree with that. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, the sofa's in the Ryan lawnmower. Yeah, we got new sofas. What a year ago, year and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. See, we don't have a truck, and we don't have. We live in the country, and we don't have a way of. Yeah, don't air quote that. <laughs> country. <laughs> um, we don't have a way of getting rid of it without somebody coming and picking it up, and it's it's really expensive. Um, so yeah, they've been sitting in our our giant basement down there. Okay. Anyway, that's off topic a little bit. If what's you, your answer? Oh yeah, what's my answer? One thing I would get rid of. Um, besides the rotting lawnmower, um, I would get rid of these popcorn ceilings. Oh, that's an option? That is an option. Yeah, that's a big yeah. I, all of our ceilings are popcorn ceilings, and if you don't know what that is, <laughs> Except for two Google of them. it. Just Google it. <laughs> it is so annoying. You can't clean it, because when you try to dust it, or, or paint it, or anything, it's just like, all these little popcorn things come off. It's so annoying, but... You know, came with the house. What do you do? Okay. Uh, if you were ever in jail, what would be the reason? In jail? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Yelling at someone? You don't go to jail <laughs> Being for that. angry? I don't know. <laughs> Nowadays, you might. Well, true. <laughs> Before you wouldn't. Okay. Just yelling at someone? Sure. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slight slight road rage. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, if, if I were to go to jail, the reason would be... Oh, it would be road rage. Yeah. <laughs> it would definitely be road rage. It would be road rage, y'all. When I do my driving <laughs> chats with you guys, I have to really tone it down. And, like, probably there are a few times where I've had to stop and restart driving chats because... <laughs> Because there are so many, so many horrible people on the road, and I just, I go apeshit. So. Especially when we leave our neighborhood, it's, it's you go over four lanes of traffic, and they're going fifty-five miles an hour. Yeah. So that's always a fun morning routine. Well, and there's like this middle section, so you have to cross two lanes of traffic, and then sit in a middle section, and then you've got two more lanes of traffic, and people just, a, they don't know how to yield when they're turning, and and. Oh. It's just, it's annoying. Right-of-way is not a thing in the country. Correct. They do what they want. That's their right-of-way. Okay. Uh, what city were you born in? City? You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. You don't know what city you were born in? Do I have to pull your freaking passport? I don't remember. Do you know what state? Yeah, Virginia. Was it in Chesterfield? No. You don't understand. I was born and then like a year later we moved, so. Okay, well you have to explain that, your background, your military feeling. Yeah, my dad's in the military, so. Especially when I was first born, we moved a decent amount because I was, or I have a sister. She's three years older than me, and then I was born, and then in that time period... My dad was sent away uh, out of the United States on a mission. So we moved to my mom's mom's house, my grandmother. Your grandmother, yeah. Yeah. We lived there for a year until he came back. And then we got our own place in Virginia and then North Carolina and then New Jersey and then back to Virginia. So we kind of stayed in this little triangle. But that still doesn't say... <coughs> No, nope. I don't about. remember. <laughs> I don't even remember when we had to look was that up in, for our marriage it, certificate. Was it in Nor- I know, right? <laughs> was it in Norfolk? No. No, 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 no. Okay, well. Um, I was born in Vera Beach, Florida. So, okay. Now, if you don't answer this correctly, you don't get food tonight. I don't like this. <laughs> who does Where the most... supposed to put the loaded who, questions at the end? Who does the most housework? <laughs> Well, you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that could be. That could be. Um, I mean, during COVID, it was probably fifty-fifty. 
<laughs> now well, it's back to yeah, normal. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. Because <laughs> you worked from home for eight months. Um, I mean, it's still still COVID now, but you worked for eight months and then had to go back to work. So, yeah, it was nice to have you home during that time period. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was way ready for you to go back to work, Shug. I've already told all them that. Yeah, I, I'm I in my ready. office just doing my work, not even on the phone. I can't do diamond painting right now because you're in the house. Like, what did I do? No, I can't do video. <laughs> Wait, why? I just, I don't know. I don't like to do videos when That's you're okay. here. It's weird. Well, I was here every day for eight months. I know, but I had to like come in here and shut the door yeah. and like, hey y'all, I'm doing a video. Yeah, and every 30 minutes I'd have to stand up and corral the cats because they'd be screaming outside the door. Yeah, they don't like it when I shut the door. They want to come in here. Um, yeah, we'll talk about the cats in a little bit. But, okay. Um, yeah, so I would agree with you on that one. Uh, what are you most likely to waste money on? To waste money on? Just electronics. Give them an example. Like, what are you trying to buy that you can't get right now? That I'm trying to look for you as well. Well, like I said, no rush. It's the, the new PlayStation. But mm -hmm. I'm just like gadgety things in general. Yes, he does like gadgety things. So, like, his... You know how I'm, like, obsessed with diamond paintings and pens? His diamond painting and pens are, like, keyboards and headsets and well, That's because they, they died. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't have... Yeah. Have a collection of keyboards. <laughs> okay. Or should I say, the cats ate the, the cord, so I had to buy another one that was wireless. Oh, let's not talk about that, because I already chewed the damn kitty cord, kitty cam cord. Well, somehow okay. we've fixed that-ish. Just don't touch it ever. <laughs> okay. What What is my eye color? I'm covering up my face. You know I don't notice superficial things like that. Um, Green? I mean, it's brown, but there's a there's a hue in there. Yes. But you're not hazel. I don't think you're hazel. I don't think you're hazel. And people say I'm hazel. I don't think you are. <laughs> I think you're brown. I'm only hazel if I'm in, like, the beach. Like you out in the sun? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's true. My eyes change when I'm out in the sun. To green. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, what is your favorite cuss word? Cuss word? Mm-hmm. I mean, the F word? I mean, isn't that everyone's favorite You can favorite say it. Word? It's okay. I mean, I say it all the time at work. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Yes, I would say, um, I, well, I like using asshat a lot. I guess that's not really a cuss word, though. That's come in and out of Vogue. How do you even know what Vogue you go, is? You go back and forth with oh that one. Oh, my God. You used to say it all the time when I first met you, and then there was a huge lull, and then I brought it up like a year and a half ago. You've just been on the kick again. Yeah. <laughs> Ass hat. It's one of my favorites. Okay. What is your favorite movie? <clears throat> favorite movie? Mm -hmm. Probably one with Christian Bale and it would be my guess. Why? You like Christian Bale. N not really. Not that much. Mm -hmm. No. Um, movie I watch over and over again? I don't really do that. I just like comedies. I'd say any Will Ferrell movie or... Yeah. I'm more of a comedy guy. Like Step Brother. I love Something I can watch over and over again, yeah. Um, my favorite movie is Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. If y'all haven't seen it, Google it. It's awesome. Um, yeah, we just watched it a couple days ago. Well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. All right. What is your favorite thing about me? Favorite thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, outgoingness, willing to say what's on your mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to the point of where you're like, shut up. <laughs> Never said that. <laughs> Never see, said that. See, ladies, I've got him trained. Never said that. Um, my favorite thing about Adam is, um, and I'm going to give a, a brief dissertation, but I went through a really nasty divorce, as you guys know, um, and my ex-husband was very controlling and very... Um, up my ass all the time not to mention he you know the money factor but Adam is very hands-off he trusts me he doesn't really you know 
it's not that he doesn't care what I do, but he doesn't like ask me all the time, what are you doing? What are you spending your money on? Now we keep our money separate. So I do what I want with my money. He does what he wants with his money as long as our bills get paid. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it works really well for us. So the one thing I like about Adam is that he just doesn't question anything I do. Um, that's a huge positive for me and it's a must after what I've been through. So that's what I like the best about you. Other than the fact that you're handsome. Well, thanks. Okay. Uh, what is your least favorite thing about me? Least favorite? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Fly off the handle out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's normally a reason for that, but I won't know about it for, you know, a week, <laughs> two weeks, a month. <laughs> Yeah, that does seem, yeah, I I tend to, like, build things up and then I just go apeshit on them. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram really... and Twitter really helps, so. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, the least favorite thing that I don't like about Adam is he likes to leave things places. Like, the biggest pet peeve I have about Adam is... I will clean the kitchen and put all the dishes away and he will eat a bowl of ice cream and then just put the bowl in the sink. Mm -hmm. And he won't put it in the freaking dishwasher. It's like, it's right there. It's empty. Anyway. Okay. Uh, and it's not just the dishwasher. It's other things too. But She okay. says that as she has three cups of coffee that have... <laughs> That are sitting on the counter. No, no, all no. The time. I, some of those I have to soak because of the coffee rings that are in them. How about your three empty water bottles that are on the counter? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I told you. Argument ensuing. Okay. Everybody's got their thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, what is the one thing you are most likely to get famous for? Oh, that's funny. Um. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a question is that's that? That's what it says. What is the one thing your partner is most likely to get famous for? I mean, you'd be on some YouTube video of a person cut someone off and screaming no, and I'd hollering. Say, <laughs> yeah. I'd say probably, you know, YouTube or <clears throat> WeWax. Yeah. You know. That's... We'll, we'll skip that one because you're, yeah, there's not a whole lot you get famous for. Yeah, I'm a programmer in a cubicle, so, eh. <laughs> no, you're in an office. You have your own office. It's the size of a cubicle. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, what is the one thing, what, what is your most repeated sentence or phrase? Why? That is the easiest thing. I say that at home. I say that at work. Why? <laughs> say that to myself. <laughs> I say mine is hey, Shug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's like my thing. Or what the fuck. <laughs> yes, I do say that a lot. Especially to the animals. Oh, my gosh. Y what are you doing? That is your other favorite thing to say. What are you doing? <laughs> from across. Not today, Satan. Yeah. Across from a different room. <laughs> right. Okay, what is my shoe size? Well, you're either an eight or an eight and a half. I'd say an eight, but you're a narrow foot, so you're fancy. Not really, not anymore. Not as you narrow keep saying as that, but then you be. tried on shoes you got for Christmas, and you're like, "But my foot's narrow, and it doesn't exactly fit." Those are slippers. I mean, oh, that's different. <laughs> oh my god, um, you're usually like what a thirteen ish, yeah, thirteen, thirteen and a half. Yeah, See? depends on the shoe. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have my water in here. Um, okay, what item would you throw out at your first opportunity? How is that different from the question? It's we... really not, <laughs> so we're just going to skip that one. Um, How about your, your busted curling iron or hair straightener? My, my hair? That yeah, has that literally hair exploded yeah. and has goo, plastic goo coming out of it. Yeah. <laughs> But I use that to seal my color strip nail. I'm just thing. waiting for the day it catches fire. And I'm at work and can't do anything about oh, it. Please yeah. don't use that. Right. Well, how about I just use it when you're here? There you go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> just burn your finger. <laughs> okay. When was our first road trip together? Get out from under my t desk. She's under my desk. Yeah. 
No, go, Zoe. <laughs> okay. When was our first road trip together? That'd have to be Shinkatega, I would think. We don't do a whole lot of road trips. Yeah, I would say Shinkatega <clears throat> was probably the first road trip in the car we yeah. did. That but, was actually a fun trip. Oh, it was really fun. Yeah, if you guys haven't been to Chincoteague, um, it's an island um, in Virginia, and they have wild horses that swim from um, Chincoteague, to or from Assateague, Assateague to, to Chincoteague. Yeah. Um, we haven't actually seen the ponies run, because, I mean, you really have to book that way in advance. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of fun. You get to go to, like, you see a lot of wildlife and stuff. It's a perfect place to go, and there's almost nothing to do. Which is great. Like you yes. mini golf or you get ice cream every night. You do, you know, nature. Yeah, they have plenty of tours. They have a beach down there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really, really enjoy that. Okay. Uh, we're going to skip that one too because you don't have one. I'm looking at this diamond painting. I missed a drill here. I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's like a drill missing right there. I hope it didn't come out. Anyway. Okay. Um... We're gonna skip that one. Uh, favorite sports team? We don't we don't watch sports, really. Yay sports. Okay, where where did we meet each other? Where at work? Okay, right. That's simple. Right. Okay. Um, where was our first date together? Now you remember this because I got pissed off. <laughs> what was that? Was it a Starbucks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Starbucks. Yeah, so about that, um, we go, you know, I told Adam, first of all, you know, I'm not going to date you while you work at the same place as me. So Adam found another job um, because he was only like working part time. As an Believe intern. me, I was not working. There. No. So he found another job. Thank goodness. Um, so once he did that, you know, he asked me out on a date and we went to just a Starbucks just to have a coffee and we're there and no shit. One of his friends is working there. It's somebody I went to high school with like <laughs> three years prior. He was two grades. Of, like, it's the most random thing. I wouldn't have even recognized who he was. <laughs> the person comes over to us. And I don't know why he even... He came over to say hi to you. Yeah, he yeah. did. Came over, we were sitting there having coffee. He came over and said hi to you. And then he looked at me and said, Oh, Adam, is this your hot mom? <laughs> I was like, you get the F out of my face right now or I am going to punch you. And he never said another word the entire time. <laughs> oh, no. When he found out I was not your hot mom, he uh, totally hightailed it. <laughs> like, Jesus. And I don't know. I don't really feel like you and I look that different in age. I mean, I don't think so. Um, anyway. Yeah, that was our first date. That was a nightmare. Um, which one of us buys the best gifts? Okay, well, we don't buy things for each other. I think I explained this before in my Christmas premiere. We we just don't buy things for each other because if there's something we want, we just buy it because we keep our money separate. And, mm. it, you know, if we, if we had joint money together, that'd be different. But we don't, so we just, we don't buy things for each other. Our joint money isn't fun. It's like, let's replace the air conditioning unit. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. All our tax <laughs> money return usually goes to upgrades for the house. Um, whatever it is. Oh boy, this will be fun. Who calls their parents the most? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I call my parents when I'm in the car and you do it when I'm not home most of the time. So I would I don't say know. I would say I do because you only talk to your parents every Friday. Yeah. You call them every Friday on your way home from work. Yeah. I talk to my mom, like, pretty much on a daily basis. Oh, okay. So, yeah. My dad, I talk to, like, I don't know, once a month, probably. On the phone. No, I'm talking about calls. This is on yeah, the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your mom is literally down the street, so. Okay. Who chooses what you eat for dinner? Well... During COVID, <laughs> it was me. <laughs> We're still in COVID. Why now do you keep saying during COVID? It's when so when I worked from home <laughs> during COVID, <laughs> it was me. Right. Now That's it's true. you again. <laughs> That's true. Ad, I I don't really like to cook. I'll cook. I don't like to do it. Adam does it much, much better than I do. Um, you do just fine. 
Sometimes, but... Um. You are leaps and bounds from when we first met. <laughs> that is very true. I'm surprised You're you like, didn't die. I, I can burn water, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And then you cooked chicken breast one time. It was fine. It was fine. Do you hear it this, It was fine. People? There was nothing wrong with it. It was fine. It, it wasn't was good. Fine. It was fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. You can cook. All right. You just need to follow instructions exactly. You just can't bake. <laughs> no, no. Laura doesn't You're follow the... exact instructions, no. which is required for baking. <laughs> no, you bake. I don't bake. In fact, we need to make our cherry pie. Um, yeah, I put the dough in the refrigerator. Let me rephrase that. You need to make our cherry pie. I put the dough in the refrigerator because I knew you'd say that. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, who chose the current car? Okay, well, again, we have separate cars. Yeah. and we No buy... one's allowed to drive the other one's car. <laughs> we... We don't have each other's names on our cars. Like, my car is my car. His car is his car. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I might let you drive my car, but... Is my name on your car? No. No, it's not okay. No. No. Uh, they keep sending you stuff. I don't know why, but... Uh, apparently, they think I own the BMWs. <laughs> I don't understand. They don't even send it to you. <laughs> they don't send it to me. No, I get stuff, too. Dude. I only get, like, recalls. And no, I get... Hey, about your new BMW. I'm like, I don't have one. I've never owned a BMW. And it's not really new. It's three years old. Right? But anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who cleans the house more frequently? I don't know. Does the, does the robotic vacuum count? Oh, yeah. So let's talk about that. So for quote unquote Christmas, Adam bought us a, what's it called? It's a Roomba. A Roomba. This thing is so freaking awesome. It, you can program it and map out your house. I'm going to let Adam tell you. It's awesome. So before the Roomba, we had a Neato, which was incredibly old and was a refurb. Uh, the Roomba, it's the fancier version. They had a sale this year at the end of the year. It can, when you turn it on, it can map out your entire house, whatever room it can get to. You can draw barriers and say, you know, okay, this run, I want you to only do the kitchen and the living room. And it will just go to those rooms, clean them, and come back to the base. Uh, you can block off areas like for Christmas. We blocked off where the Christmas tree was and where the dog's water bowl is so it doesn't run into those. Mm -hmm. And the best part is now they have it where when it goes back to the base, it has a suction. So it suctions out from the Roomba itself into a storage bin. For you to throw away the trash. So like now you the, now you the, actually yeah. don't have to touch anything. Where before you'd always have, I mean, every time you'd have to clean out the Neato. And it was gross. And, you know, there'd be dust flying everywhere. You'd have to, like, we'd normally just do it in the garage. Yeah. But between two dogs and two cats now, it's like, I don't want to touch that. Mm -hmm. So the thing is awesome. So if, if anybody really wants a good, like, robotic vacuum, I highly recommend this one. So, yeah, but that doesn't answer the question. So, are you saying the Roomba cleans the house more frequently? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, I mean, you do most more of the inside, and I do all of the outside. Correct. Right. Okay. But I help. You do. I do dishes. You. I do cleans. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I always clean the shower, because that hurts your back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, the shower's a bitch. Okay, who does the grocery shopping most of the time? Uh, the internet. <laughs> Before that, you. <laughs> yeah, we we either have my friend Sean bring us groceries or I have them delivered. So, yeah. But, yeah, me. Yeah. Um, who does the most laundry? You. Thank you. But, again, during COVID, I did my own laundry. <coughs> I did your laundry, too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I had to do something to keep me from going crazy being around you all the time. Um, I was in one room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good one. Who has the craziest family? Uh, different forms of crazy? Which definition of crazy? I mean, it just it's says who has the craziest family. Outsider looking in who thinks it's, a, it's the crazy family. I would say your family. <laughs> Why? Why? Just the different dichotomies. <laughs> Mine's more laid back. Mine's more simple as compared. I know you're not going to believe that. <laughs> Y'all should see the look I'm giving you right now. What laid back? My ass. 
No, no. Okay, so it, here, my family, my family is very outgoing, very go and do. Yes, outgoing. They're they're into all kinds. Of, my dad is really. I mean, my dad was a huge uh, business person here in the area, and a lot of charity support and. Very well known in the community, um, <clears throat> and my mom is just just awesome. She's just very outgoing and always oh. happy and cheerful. Yeah, and she can't sit still for thirty minutes. She can't. She can't sit still. She's always like, yeah, she's always on the go. Um, whereas Adam's family is very mm, stay at home. Yeah, not do a lot. And they're very religious, which I I sometimes have an issue with. But we're not going to get into that because we're not going to talk about religion and politics. So I would have to agree with you then. Probably my family's a little bit more crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, which one of us is better at keeping secrets? Well, after Christmas, I'd say me. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Okay, so let me explain that. Um my mom, for Christmas, now she is not a, a techie person at all. She doesn't know how to do anything with technology. So she leans on Adam quite a bit. Um, anyway, she found a bunch of old home movies that were on VHS. Oh, yeah, they were on VHS. They were on VHS, and she had them converted to... Yeah, so she USB. saw one day when she was driving, walking in Costco, there was a big kiosk where you could give them your VHS tape and they would switch it over to digital. But because when they spit it out, they spit it out on a USB thumbstick. She didn't know how to duplicate that <laughs> to make a copy because she has two daughters. So <laughs> Right. So she wanted to make one for me and one for my sister. So she got Adam to help her and all of this was behind my back and I didn't know anything Well, it wasn't about behind it. your back. You knew. Well, <laughs> you I just mean, didn't know what was happening. I, I didn't know what was happening. So yeah, I'd say When Adam's... your mom comes to the front door and is like, Laura, go away. <laughs> yeah, see, my mom lives like two streets down from us, so she just walks over here when she takes her neighborhood walk, and yeah, um, yeah. So I would say you're better at that. I don't, I don't really keep secrets because it. Uh, why? What is there to keep secret from you? Seriously. The cat's into something. I hear. Yeah. Yeah, a couple thuds. Um. Okay. Oh. Which one of us dresses better? Oh, you. I just pick whatever's closest in my <laughs> drawer. Are you kidding me? That's so true. You just don't give a crap what you wear. Um, yeah. All right. Who is more likely to be running late? You. Yep. I would agree with that. I try to be. No, no. I try the to snoozer. be. No, if you have somewhere you absolutely have to go, you're on time. Yeah. Unless it's like you have to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Right. Waking up is, is usually a problem, but yeah, no, if I have something scheduled, I'm always, really, I'm early. I try to be very punctual. Yeah. Um, who is more likely to get a traffic ticket, you or me? Well, I'd go with you. Yeah. Since I've never technically gotten one. Oh, well, how many accidents have you been in, though? None of them were my fault. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I would. I would more. I would be the one to get a traffic ticket. I like to speed. Unfortunately, um, I don't really stop all the way at a stop sign. Yeah. Anyway, oh, who is more likely to kill a spider? Wow, you're <laughs> way too excited for that. Um, I would say me, but you killed the last one. I did. You did. Well, but you killed. We had a centipede. What last? Yeah, week. the cats were playing. The cats with. were just playing with it. They didn't kill it. Yes, I hate spiders, and if I see a spider, it's dead. If I see it inside this house, it's dead. If it's a large spider, you're yelling for me. Yeah, if it's bigger, <laughs> Most of them if are it's small. bigger than like my thumbnail, Adam's Adam's got to come to my assistance there. We'll just be glad we're not at um, our old house with our camel crickets. Oh my god, yeah, that's so that's disgusting. Because <laughs> they jumped. Well, they were huge. They had giant legs. They jumped. Our cat liked to rip all its legs off. <laughs> Java. So so you'd wake up first yeah. thing in the morning and you'd walk somewhere and you'd step on these things with your bare feet because you're not paying attention. And they have a very hard outside and a very not hard inside. And it is the worst feeling. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, okay. Uh, who is more romantic? We're going to skip that question because neither one of us are romantic. 
I just, I don't get into that mushy shit. Um, who is pickier about where you live? I don't know. I'd say we both had our pros and cons. Oh, no. It was me. I wanted to be out here near mom. Whoa, okay. Laura, for a long time, said, I want to live in the city. And I said, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, 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 did we had a list. We did a little bit. We had a list of things you wanted. I had a thing, list of things I wanted. But, you know, we both settled on certain things, I'd say. We did. I mean, it needed to be a certain distance from where Adam worked um, because I retired early and it was a bigger focus on making sure Adam didn't have to drive far to go to work and that it was a safe area. Um, and we're in a very safe area. I feel like I could, yeah. I, I don't have to worry where we lived before. I was pretty scared. Being oh, we were on a stoplight. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, the biggest issue in this area is looking for a single story that's not a teeny tiny little rancher. Yeah, from like 1960. Yeah. 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 So this house was awesome because this house is all one level and it's way and bigger. And it's way too big. Way too big <laughs> and it's way bigger than what we needed. But with it being all one level, it's great because I've got, you know, chronic back issues and didn't need stairs. So. Other than and, when you park your car in the garage and have to walk up a side. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's all right. stairs. We'll have a ramp eventually, I'm sure. And my mom is two streets down, so that's awesome. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Oh, gosh. Who is the better cook? Well, I guess it's me now. Uh, I would highly agree with that. Uh, who is the better dancer? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Nope. Um, <laughs> who is the loudest? Uh, I'd say you. Yeah. As far as, like, yelling and stuff, yeah. Well... Yeah. Well, I don't know. When you play video games... That's what I'm saying. It's like... You yeah. get loud. You yeah, can get loud sometimes. with with your friends, for sure. Not as loud as you do on video games. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I'm actually debating doing some Overwatch games with Sean on the channel. They're going to see a new level of salt they've never seen before. I know. It's like going to be a whole different me, so I'm, I'm debating on that. Maybe yeah. that should be just like a member-only yeah, <laughs> member <-only> video. <laughs> Video games with Laura. Come join the Salt Fest. All right. Um, who is the messiest? The messiest? Mm -hmm. What's your definition of messy? See, so like different... Adam's trying to no. to pad the question because he knows the different answer. Different definitions of messy. I have organized mess. That is the difference. <laughs> I have organized mess because I have so much shit, especially diamond painting shit. It's organized mess. Yeah, it's like, you know, oh, it's too much effort to clean out my closet, so I'm just going to put all the clothes I wear on top of my dresser. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just different definitions. <laughs> Your closet isn't great either. But it is highly organized. It is, but it's still got a lot of shit in it. Um, who loses things the most? I don't know why you're smirking. Because you know it's me. Yeah, I was going to say, I know it's not me. <laughs> I lose things all the time. Yeah. All the time. Because I have places I put things, and you're like, eh, it goes here. <laughs> now, see, I think this next question is a shitty question. Who loves the other more? That's a shitty question. I love you more, you love me more at the end, okay. Anyways, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. That, question. That, that question should be not on there. Oh, who made the first move? God, that was forever ago. I, you, I guess? I don't know. No. I don't know. No. <laughs> no. No, it was what, you coming into my time? office and sitting on the sofa all the time. Sure. I mean, I don't know what your definition of first move is. I mean, that's that's what I'm, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I had a sofa in my office where we worked together, and he would come in and sit on my sofa and chill out. Because I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, and he... he Kept doing it on a more frequent basis. I was like, mm-hmm. All right. Who makes the bed? Um, no one. Okay. Who semi makes the bed? <laughs> I make my side because if I don't, I get cat butt all over my <laughs> side butt. of the bed. She does. Zoe likes to sit all on Adam's side of the bed and on his pillow. It's, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. But I mean, I kind of make the bed when I get up. I like pull... Pull the comforter and the blanket up, for sure, because yeah. of the cats. 
Um, who mows the yard? That would be you. That would be me. Yep. Anything outside? Surprise. Okay. Who picks our vacation spot? <laughs> our vacation spot? When's the last time we've been on a vacation? I mean, we were supposed to go to Ireland. That was going to be our vacation for yeah, 2020. But nobody picked that one. That just kind of locked no, in our uh, lineup. I mean... We, I had told Dad and Mary yeah. that we wanted to go to Ireland, and they yeah. were like, okay, let's do this. Um, but I'd say no one, I'd say we both, like, we choose it together. Yeah. I mean, that's what married people do, right? Yeah. Choose things together. Well, it's not like my, <laughs> the best SNL skit that came out, like, a couple months ago. They were making fun of the, the cars that you buy at Christmas. Like, surprise, honey, we have a new car. Yeah, I bought you a Lexus. Right. Yeah, I'd kill you if you did that to right. me. Vice right, versa. right, Like, what are you doing? Right. That's a huge expense. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, who planned the honeymoon? Okay, well, we we didn't have a honeymoon. Um, two reasons. One, we had a super delay honeymoon. <laughs> one... Um, at the time, and and yeah, we're crazy. At the time of us getting married, we were also in the process of looking... We had just bought a house. No, we didn't buy the house till June. We had bought the house like six months in advance. Yeah, we had bought the house prior to us getting married. Yeah. Um, so we were in the process of, all at the same time, planning a wedding... Uh, buying, Adam was buying a house. I was selling my townhouse. Yeah. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. So not only that, so we had a lot of money tied up in house buying and selling. So we didn't do a honeymoon. I say our honeymoon was Chincoteague. Yeah, it was. So, cause we went to Chincoteague. Like two years later, three years later. I forgot how much. Yeah, it was a couple years later. Yeah. 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 Cause so. you know. Our house needed some TLC. <laughs> well, not only that, I mean, I feel like if you're going to spend that kind of money, I feel like that money should have gone into better things. I don't know. Yeah. Um, who remembers family and friends' birthdays? Oh, not me. <laughs> I have to put that on my calendar. I I don't do dates. I don't either. I don't either. You I never have to do have, dates. Yeah, I have everything in my phone. If it wasn't for work, I wouldn't even know what today's date is. Mm. I don't even know what today's date is. <laughs> what is it? Okay. We're not going to say what it is because I don't know when we're doing this video. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to skip that question. I'm not gonna... um, who spends more time on social media? That would be you. Well, that's, okay. That's a loaded question. Okay. But <laughs> why? I mean, come on. Yeah. But even without that, like we don't really do the Facebook thing or anything like that. I do not. I mean, I have Facebook for my groups, for, you know, yeah. my coloring book group and for my diamond painting group. My personal Facebook, I haven't looked at in probably over a year. Yeah. More for if somebody wants to send you a whisper or something. I, I don't even think they could. I think I've got all notifications turned off. Uh, well, there you go. So, I mean, originally I had Facebook to keep up with, you know, people that I hadn't talked to in a long time but it turns so political and just a people bunch just of like to talk too much people do like to yeah. talk too much and, and then as soon as they decided oh well we want to have your login information to look at your facebook before we hire you for a job i said no nope. yeah, no. <laughs> nope nope no. i'm stopping this this is too much right too much right. so yeah i but i mean instagram and youtube and i am on twitter here and there a lot of people don't know that um but, yeah, I'd say I do social media way more than you do. Yeah, you liked when I introduced you to Twitter. Mm. Didn't understand what that was. And then we watched the the Peter Pan play. Remember that? We watched the Peter Pan play on NBC. Oh, yeah, 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 And yeah. I introduced you to Twitter, and they were just <laughs> bashing it on Twitter the whole time. Oh, my God. We looked at her phone as much as we watched the show. It was funny. So great. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Um, who watches the most TV? Okay, well, we don't, we don't watch TV. Well, first of all, we don't have cable. I got rid of cable because we just didn't watch it. Um, we have Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and what's the other one? We have Plex. Um, well, yeah. But I'd say we really watch it equally. 
Yeah. Because we watch our like, one show while we eat. Yeah. Well, no, I take that back. I watch you watch YouTube more than stuff and whatnot, but because like yeah. we'll watch right now, we're watching The Arrow. Um, has eight freaking season, and each season is like twenty thousand episodes. Um, it's a good show. It just it has its it has its good and bad. It's running out of things to do. It is running out of things to do. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, but you watch a lot of um, VR. So Adam has a visual reality, I don't know what it's called. I have the cheapo, you put your phone in it, you can watch it. Just because I like it, because none of the other VR headsets, for whatever reason, do Bluetooth, because they say there's too much lag. Mm. Well, if I'm just watching YouTube or a show or something, like I would like to have my nice <laughs> bass-heavy headphones on, so it doesn't sound like you know your cheap pair of $20 headphones. True. It always does when you use the other ones. So what are you watching now? What show are you watching? What show am I watching? Nothing. YouTube. Half the time I'm taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but weren't you it's watching something recently? Wasn't there a show you were watching recently you were telling me about? Oh gosh, I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I'd say neither one of us really watches TV that much. I mean, like I said, we watch our one show while we eat dinner. Um, There's a couple shows. Uh, what was the one that... I introduced it to you and you didn't like it, so I kept watching it. Um, the Boys on Amazon. Yeah. Like I watched that I on didn't there. really care for that. First episode's a chore. After that, it, it gets... It's dark humor. No. <laughs> the the Umbrella humor. Academy? Yeah. See, I oh, introduced yeah. that to you, you and you did. didn't like it, so I watched the whole first season, and then later on you decided to watch it, and then you liked it. Right. So. Yeah. I got to watch it again. But then again, you like... Uh, Supernatural. Yeah, okay. I, I like Supernatural, but you would sit there and watch six episodes in a row, and after two, I'm like, I need a break. <laughs> well, yeah, and I haven't watched, I think it's the last, I'm on season you have 11. two seasons? I don't know. I think? I think two or three. Yeah. So, and I've tried really hard not to see <clears throat> and not to watch anything on the internet. I think most of the spoilers are gone, yeah. Yeah. Like, we haven't signed up for Disney Plus and watched The Mandalorian or any of that stuff. I really want to, though. It's just... It's like we haven't watched the last Star Wars movie because everyone's dissed it so much. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, we are huge Star Wars fans. And every new movie that has come out, we actually go to... Um, it's a place here called Cinebistro. And with my anxiety, I cannot go to a normal movie theater. Um this is an adult movie theater, so it's 21 mm -hmm. and up, and you are spaced out. It's like two seats, and then you're spaced out, and they're really comfy recliner chairs. You get to eat dinner and drink wine, and it's just, it's a good atmosphere. It's not your normal theater. So we usually go and watch the new Star Wars movies um, at that place, but of course, when COVID hit, we couldn't, and the new movie, I heard, just sucked ass, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I am looking into possibly getting Disney Plus that so we can watch Mandalorian. I really do want to watch that. Because mm -hmm. I've heard it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, and after CES, you might have a new television. Who knows? Oh, yeah. And we'll get a new stand for the television and new uh, surround sound for the television. Since, since the, the cat ate, ate the surround sound. She didn't like the bass. Oh, my God. <laughs> The cat's just to anything that's a cord. It's ridiculous. Okay, who works out more? No one. <laughs> no, a person, I would say you do because you have a rowing machine in the basement. Yeah. So I don't know the last time you rowed, but... Pre-COVID. <laughs> right? It's still COVID. Stop saying pre-COVID. No, pre-COVID. Before oh, COVID, oh, I would before row. before COVID, right. Yeah, then they were like, well, anyone who does X, Y, and Z, I'm just like, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Right. Um, who would be the one to drive on a road trip? Me. Yep. For sure. Yeah. And you'd be the one freaking out. <laughs> I'd have to take a Xanax, yeah. Um, I, I'm not good in the car. Like, my thing is, I don't want to drive long distances because of my anxiety. But then again, I get just as much anxiety being a passenger because I'm not in control of the car. So it's like, it's a double-edged sword for me. 
Let's see. Um, who has more clothes? That's hilarious. <laughs> Isn't that normally how that works? Yeah, I have way more clothes than you do. And the sad thing is I have so many clothes that I'm never going to wear again. Like all of these really nice clothes for work from like, you know, bougie places. Yeah. And I'm never going to wear again. Well, we can... And they don't fit me because they're, I lost all that weight. Yeah. Yeah. It'll go to the Goodwill. Uh, who has more shoes? Uh, yeah, you. I have all the important colors, brown and black. And a pair of sneakers. And a pair of sneakers for outside. And a pair of boots. The end. <laughs> well, no, you have you have water boots and you have yeah boots really nice work boots. Those are more snow boots, but yeah. Snow boots, yeah, yeah. yeah. With real leather, so I have to put beeswax on them. <laughs> you thought I was insane last time I did that. <laughs> I did. Yeah, and and exactly as I said, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put beeswax on it, and it's not gonna snow. It did not snow, borderline at all last year. <laughs> And we haven't gotten snowed. anything this year. It hasn't snowed this year. So. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain, though. A ton of rain. Oh, my God. A ton of rain. I wish, I wish we would get snow. I love snow. I don't like driving in it. Okay, who is your partner's celebrity? We already asked that. Celebrity crush? Wasn't yeah. that like... Yeah. Is if, that just if, a well, if you could be married to a movie star, who would it be? Okay, yeah. Skip that one. Yep, yeah, skip that one. Uh, whose idea was it to play this game? Obviously mine. I, I will say, I'm very I'm very surprised that you agreed to do this. Um, Adam is very shy and doesn't like to be on camera very much. And this is the first time y'all had seen him on camera. Um, but I'm, I'm appreciative that you yeah. did this. Yeah. Maybe well, we can have... I don't know anything about diamond painting other than how it works. <laughs> but, you, but you like the end result of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's... Takes longer to find a frame. <laughs> oh God! Framing these are such a pain. In the I don't head. understand why it's so difficult. Like nobody has made it. I mean, we borderline said, I mean, should we just buy a three D printer and make frames? Because this is insane. The the price that people want, I don't I don't understand. Yeah, I was watching um, Stitcherista. You know who I watch yeah. a lot. She just bought a frame for. Um, one that she just finished. I think she said she spent like $115 That's insane. on a custom frame. If you're going to do that, I'd rather just buy a miter saw that I can do the angles and just make my own frame for it. Like, that is... Because so many of them are custom sizes, they're not all standard. So So what you're saying is if I buy you a miter saw, you'll build me frames? Yeah, or a 3D printer. So what you're saying is if I get a 3D <laughs> printer, you'll be the one to take care of all of the... All the programming and doing and i just play with the 3d printer things yeah because i'll break it oh of course you will and uh, like i said before you're going to put it in a room that's away from all the animals from all the cat hair and all that because you can't mess with it once it's started we can make all kinds of shit with a 3d printer you could but i don't think you could make a frame that's that big of course you can not with a no, not with a 3D printer. You're a huge, giant, which I don't... Like, oh yeah, this one's rolled up. Yeah. <clears throat> so that one would have an issue just for the length of it, but you can combine pieces together. But, yeah. But then you'd see the combination of the seam. I mean, you can make it out of different material. Depends on what material you use. Right, yeah. that's true. That's true. But like the smaller ones, I could I could do. But I mean, the smaller ones, I just get the magnetic frames like that. I think they're fine, yeah, and they're pretty them, cheap. Aren't they like twenty five dollars? Um, it depends on what size, but yeah, they're anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, which isn't that bad considering. Fifteen's not bad, yeah. Well, compared to the other ones, jeez. Yeah. All right. Well, and we'll, it's not like they're we'll UV blocking. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Three uh, D printer, y'all, might be happening on the channel. Um, oh, I might be able to do 3D stuff and put on the Etsy shop. Uh, yeah, okay, so, uh, what is the worst, okay, what is my worst habit? Worst habit? Mm-hmm. Uh, anxiety of everything? <laughs> what do you mean, worst but habit? that's not a habit. That's something I can't control. You know that. Okay. Worst habit? Mm -hmm. Losing things? I do. Putting I lose 
yeah. putting things in controlled chaos. <laughs> I know that's rehashing, but that's... Yeah, I do lose a lot of things. I do. Yeah. I do lose a lot of things. I'm trying to think of what habit I hate the most that you do. Using the loudest, clickiest keyboard I've ever heard in my entire life, and not noticing it's loud even when I tell you until my keyboard breaks because a certain cat decided to destroy it. So I use Laura's old keyboard, and she's immediately... Are you going to buy a new keyboard? It's too loud. <laughs> She's chewing, but she was chewing on something. I don't know. Sometimes they just chew on the carpet. Uh, what is the worst habit I hate of yours? Um, or worst habit of yours? Other than the leaving the dishes in the sink. The tonsil clicking. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Adam still has his tonsils. I still don't know if that's what it is or not, but yeah. It, it, is. it is a thing. I've Googled it. It's completely normal. Every but night. there's no way to get rid of it. <laughs> when he falls asleep, if he falls asleep on his back especially, it, when he breathes out, it makes a clicking sound. And it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> I want to reach over and rip your tonsils out. <laughs> It's it's so just infuriating. It's infuriating. Ocean waves. <laughs> the ocean waves don't even cover ocean that waves. up. But that's not a habit. No, I would it's not. Call that, it's that's involuntary. Just, that's something you can't control. Just like I can't control my anxiety. So yeah, I don't know. Um, habit. I'd say yeah. The dishes, and then you also like to leave like drink cups places. Like you always leave drink cups on your table next to your recliner i have to clean those or the little ramekin dishes you leave those yeah um, sometimes but that's both ways i don't know if this is a habit and it might be tmi but the fact that you can sit on the toilet and brush your teeth is ridiculous it drives me insane well because Everybody brushes their teeth different. I can leave the toothpaste in my mouth. You cannot. You have to, like, lean over the yeah, sink Yeah, I time. have to lean over the sink because it just goes everywhere. I don't... I, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. Would I prefer dinner or a movie? Uh, both? <laughs> well, if you had to choose one, which would I prefer? <laughs> because where we go, you get both? Uh, dinner, I would assume. Yeah. Yep. There's very few movies we pick to actually go to the movie theater and watch. Oh, yeah. Very, very few. No. No movie is worth it to me unless it's Star Wars. I'll wait for it to come out. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's something really bad. What was the one we saw? Um, the... Uh, what was it called? It wasn't The Awakening. The one with uh, Marky Mark where the wind... Turned you. <laughs> oh, Laura, was, Laura was smitten with the advertisement. It was the best movie ever. The Bees. <laughs> what was it called? The Bees? Well, The Happening. Was it The Happening? The Happening. <laughs> it looked like such a cool movie. <laughs> and then we get in there and it's like, this it is... so bad. It was great. I wanted to get up and walk out. It was amazing. It was so bad. <laughs> I wanted to get it walk out. <laughs> now that I think about it, I've only gotten up and walked out of one movie, and that was The Cell with, um, uh, was it Lopez? Yeah. 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 When they started slicing the horse, I got up and I walked right out. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Couldn't handle it. The only one I've ever walked out of was Bicentennial Man because it never ended. <laughs> it was the longest movie ever. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, and this is the last question. And we've actually been sitting here for an hour. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Good timing. Um, if your home was on fire and everyone important was out and safe, what item would I go back in and save? Um, what item would you save? Other than normal things like your purse. <laughs> Right. Um, because that's a huge pain in the butt. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, to my knowledge, you don't really have a whole bunch of picture books or anything super duper sentimental. I mean, you have a couple things like if you're grandmother you i mean your pictures i don't know if you have duplicates of those you could get mm -hmm. from your family um just sentimental things yep like that's what most people would get yeah i'd probably go for you know i'd probably go for a picture of my grandmother it would be if it was one thing that i could take it would probably be a picture of my grandmother mm -hmm. that i could say what would be the one thing you would say? Let me think. Mm. Now, and we're assuming that, like, you have your phone, I have my purse, that kind of thing. I'm yeah, assuming the easy answers. The easy thing. Um, I don't care less about my phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, I would say you would probably, well, I don't know. Right. I mean, maybe some of the things your grandfather gave you that's in your dresser, like the coin collection. Didn't you, didn't, isn't there a coin? Coin collection, the. There's a knife he gave you. <clears throat> there's that, there's, um, that walking stick from the Indian tribe. There's yeah. a couple like. Little yeah. nichey things. So, yeah. I would think you would probably get one of those. Something sentimental. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that is the end of our um, husband and wife tag question. Um, we've been sitting here for over an hour, which is impressive that I could get Adam to sit here and talk to me for wow. an hour. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. We talk, but generally we like to just get in bed and just shoot the shit. Um, during the, the evenings, usually Adam will come home from work, we'll eat dinner, um, and then... After I take my COVID shower. Yes. <laughs> he has to take a shower. Um, I make him shower when he gets home from work. But generally we do our own things in the evening after we eat dinner. We have our time together at dinner. That's important. Um, but then Adam will play video games, and I'll usually come in here and diamond paint, or I'll play... Overwatch with Sean or, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, we usually like to shoot the shit and laugh in bed and look at funny. Mm -hmm. I look at funny cat videos. Um, Until you get sucked into another MMO we both play. <laughs> yeah, there just hasn't been one in so long. I mean, MMO is a massively multiplayer online game, um, which Adam and I are big fans of. Uh, the last one we played together... Like, really played together was probably Black Desert Online. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we're playing WoW here and there. I just lost interest in WoW just because of the whole... You guys are so much further along than I am, and it's the whole catch-up mechanism. I'm, I'm trying to... leveling my it. alt right now. He's only level 51. <laughs> okay, well, like, my main character is only level, you know, 54, and I have to get it to 60, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm... I'm playing with other characters too so but that's that's one thing we do do together is um we play video games there just hasn't been a good game to come out um hopefully this year we'll have a good one well eventually overwatch 2 is supposed to come out supposedly by end of the year but see i don't want i don't to believe anything that blizzard says so i don't want to have to pay for another overwatch game i i like the one i'm playing now well you can continue playing the one no, from what I heard, you have to buy the second one. So, no. um, yeah. So anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this husband and wife whip and chat. Um, I thought it would be something fun to do, something different. Um, you know, it's the first time we've had Adam on the channel, so yeah, he exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do exist. Um, and we've got a Zoe. Hi. Are you going to say hi? No? You're not going to talk today? Yeah. No. Usually... I'm just the background tech guy. <laughs> yeah, Adam does a lot of stuff. Um, Sean's me. helped you with OBS because I don't know anything about that. Yeah, but... Sean does help me with the um, with the video setup, but you help me a lot with the computer stuff. So. Well, now you know how to separate audio and video. So. Yes, I do. The world is your oyster. Um, so I can just insert this 
this file into the whipping chat. So mm -hmm. anyway, anyway, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this. We're going to go um, play with our cats that are destroying my curtain <laughs> at the time right now. Um, yeah. So again, thank you, Mrs. Coffee, for the challenge, the annual challenge. I look forward to next year's challenge. Um, I don't know what I'll do next year, but yeah. So again, I hope everybody has a fabulous rest of your week. And I am sure that I will see you again really soon. And Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.